So now we're down to dealing with our electric tracks. We have four electric tracks in this song. There are two electric rhythm parts that are pan left and right. We have a electric three, which is just a strummed part through the verses. And then we have our solo part, which plays through the bridge section and into chorus three. Now my approach to these electrics are going to be quite simple. I'm happy with the sounds we have recorded, but I'll probably apply just a little bit of compression and maybe look at the EQ a little bit. Other than that, we're going to leave them alone. Now the solo is going to be another story. Using panning automation and long delays and echoes, we're going to have this track flying all over the stereo spectrum. So let's have a listen to these tracks now so that we may get familiar with them. So that gives you an idea of our electric parts that are used when we've got them mixed into our song. There are three parts, two rhythm parts, one pan left and one pan right, and then our little electric embellishment. So let's listen to them now soloed individually. So there's our three guitar parts that are used in the choruses. Now what we have left is our solo section and a small harmonic picked part labeled Guitar 4 that is only played in the bridge part of the song. Let's have a listen to that. Nice and simple and I don't think we have to do anything to that track. And what we have left now is our solo section and I'll let you have a listen to it before I put it into the track so you can see how it sits in there. So you can hear a lot going on in that solo section and in the preceding chapters I'll go over how I accomplished this as well as what I did to the other electric tracks in order to give them a nice placement in our song. <laughs> 